mealy bug at my Ichiviria flowers. That's why I prefer to cut them. Because flower attracts ants and mealy bugs, so it is better to cut them off. Here we go, my Ichiviria. It's flower. You know what guys, I get a lot of satisfaction from seeing my succulents bloom because for me it's uh, like they are happy and doing well but not all succulents bloom and some may never bloom also. <laughs> At the top it is like um, blue, blue, no, nah, blue type. But at the bottom, you can see their colors. <laughs> they doesn't look good at all. It happens because I have sprayed some like neem oil to get rid of mealybugs because this Ichiviria attract mealybug and ants a lot. So I have just sprayed. Um, like almost one month and it is like this but from the top um new leaves coming out so their original color it's noticeable so do succulents die after flowering it is yeah, actually, uh, most succulent plants do not die after flowering, although some do. I don't know about this plant, Ichiveria, because uh, this is the first time I'm seeing my Ichiveria bloom. So, I just hope that it won't because I have only this plant here and here. I have one more, okay another pot but they are small comparing to this but don't worry guys I mean here landscape they are also about to bloom they are beautiful this succulent also I mean after blooming, they die. Pups and baby plants will continue living on the mother plant dies after flowering. Here, before flowering or it's still um, blooming, here I have noticed that no babies coming out from mother plant. So I guess it will not die because there is a saying that before um, before they blooms, uh, they used to give a lots of babies because only the mother plant dies after flowering and the pups and babies plants will continue living. So here, um, not all succulents plant flowers. Some may take years before they are ready to bloom and some may not flower at all. Some though, even like when they are young, they used to bloom, and some need a maturation period before they are ready to bloom. I love this Echeveria, okay. It is like this now, it is not that attractive, but uh, it is noticeable now. There are new leaves. So, uh, 
I wanted to cut this okay because it doesn't look attractive now it's already dried it's blooming like almost 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 like three weeks yeah so guys when do succulents bloom now so succulents bloom after i mean blooms at different times of the year some blooms in early spring or late summer but some can also bloom in the fall and winter months also it depends on the type of succulents you have and the environment condition they faced and by the way um, you cannot plant this flower I mean Seculens flower will not grow into new seculens plant. It will not grow. Only what can grow into a new flower are the seed that the flower contains. It has a seed here. But um should I be go? Simply planting flowers alone will not do a job. So I'll just cut this. Where's my scissor? It takes a certain amount of energy for succulents to bloom and to maintain the bloom some uh, people are not impressed by the flower succulents so prefer to cut off the bloom but I personally love to see bloom from my succulents no matter how small they are I do find all types of flower beautiful and amazing. Look at this, it has an orange, orange, pink, purple kind of contrast type. It's a personal choice, okay, when to cut off the bloom stalk, I usually wait until the plant is done blooming and the flower have dried see have a look it is all dried so dried up so i prefer to cut them off because they are becoming unattractive now so how to get your succulents bloom so a happy and healthy plant will have a great chance at blooming my ichiviria is healthy so they are blooming so you can uh, provide at least five to six hours of sunlight a day to keep the plant happy and if your plants is happy then they will start blooming like this they need a sunlight but not that heat if you are living in a hot area then you must place them in a shaded area because they will get burned so guys provide the plant with a well draining soil succulent do not like to sit in a wet soil so it is important to provide the proper soil to keep them happy 
uh, a mixture with perlite is a good way to start I'm using perlite here you can see that white white so along with the soil mixture you also need to pay attention uh, to watering technique also too much water can be root rot so allow plant to dry in between watering the top inch of the soil needs to be dried before watering again it is wet now because I have watered it like three days ago now Finally cut the amenesco. Long the longa. Here we go, another one. You know what? Seculins are normally known for their green color, okay? But um, here we have this muted blue succulents and there are many colors in between also I mean some also have beautiful essence color like yellow white and black and these are beautiful it has a baby also let me show you here can you see this small small babies coming out Fortunately, most cyclins plants do not die. There is a saying, so maybe this is the one. Let's see. Hope for the best. Finger cross. And here, this dance kept to marega y marega. But we have a plenty of babies and pups here, so I'm not like scared of losing this landscape I can I will just enjoy blooming this plant because this they are also beautiful hmm, the plant dies after it's done blooming which is why it is called the bloom of death this plant this is specially for this plant I'm seeing it is called the bloom of dead before they die they will produce a plenty of pups and babies before the flower and died so the pups will I mean the pups and the baby plants will continue living but this only the mother plant dies after flowering oh you're gonna die I'm so sad for you but you're looking amazing and the other one I don't know this plant name I haven't identified this plant name they are also about to bloom it's almost blooming it's red rather orange kind of here also 
so I'm happy because it is a sign that uh, my plant is doing good they are happy and healthy plant because only a happy and healthy plant will have a greater chance at blooming cutting of my echeveria flower is done now see you guys in my next video till then keep propagating succulents and i'll see you in my next video